desperate situation. The children of Gabe Song told everyone they knew that their father had disappeared while he was hiking during Tuesday's sudden snowstorm. Eddie Chang has the rest of the story. Not only is Gab Song okay, his friends and family are joking he looks refreshed like he just returned from the spa. But make no mistake, this was a scary situation with an unexpected and wonderful ending. <laughs> Our NBC affiliate KGET capturing the moment Gab Song is reunited with his hiking buddies and family this afternoon after surviving two and a half days in snow-covered Mount Pinos in Kern County. I met to somebody and... And uh, ask them. Yeah, yeah, I need to help. The 73-year-old father of three describing how he flagged down a stranger. I was not sure that I would make it to this moment, to be honest. Daughter and Jerry and son Mike brilliant. Song, a founder of the world-renowned dance troupe, The Kinjas. Thankful to so many for bringing their dad at home. I feel like on a, a humanity level, it's just really inspiring. And we felt the love, my whole family felt the love. So just how did Song survive the frigid conditions? Turns out Tuesday's unexpected snowstorm was a curse, but then a blessing. Luckily, because of the snow, he was able to, you know, drink water from the snow. And, and for the rest of the two days, he said he ate the snow and that was his sustenance. And we, we're now jokingly calling it the, the snow diet. Their dad also had a lighter to start a fire. And believe it or not, this is what he was wearing on his hike, clearly not expecting the conditions. Did he survive, you know, three days in the wilderness in nice slacks and a belt? <laughs> the avid hiker knows not to make his family worry again. First, he said, uh, Nyanada. <laughs> Nyanada is Korean for I'm sorry. <laughs> and then he said, um, terrible experience. <laughs> Song was checked out by paramedics when he was found and remarkably did not need any medical attention. His family says he is fast asleep, resting at home. In Torrance tonight, Hetty Chang, NBC4 News.